Liberty University will soon start the process to select a new president. But before those talks begin, some already have a person in mind. As 10 News reporter Magdala Lusan explains, not everyone thinks it's the right fit. Some students, faculty, and alum are suggesting North Carolina State Representative Mark Walker be Liberty University's next president. You may remember earlier this month, Walker, a board member and former teacher, was one of the big names calling for Jerry Falwell Jr.'s resignation on social media and CNN. I just think that there is a code that leaders have to live by, especially when you're leading the largest Christian evangelical university in the country. Walker declined Thursday to do an interview with us. His office sent us this statement instead, saying, quote, Congressman Mark Walker has heard from Liberty University students, faculty, alumni, and board members. While the outreach is appreciated and humbling, Walker believes it is paramount that Liberty focuses on its strengths in the next step of its healing, students, and faith. But there are some who think Walker is not the right fit for the school, partly because of this comment made during a news conference in 2017. The accomplished men and women of the RSC and women, if it wasn't sexist, I would say the RSC eye candy, but we'll leave that out of the record. <laughs> Mark Walker referring to women as eye candy is something that uh, Liberty students are sadly used to because they've uh, witnessed misogyny from uh, Liberty's president, um, as well as other uh, political leaders who Falwell has chosen to associate Liberty with. Uh, so Liberty students um, don't need any more of that. Dustin Wall of Save 71 says over 2,000 students and alum are working to save the school's reputation after Falwell's recent controversies. The group recently compiled a list of former administrators, faculty, and graduates who they believe should be on the search committee for the new president. We don't want to say that we know who the next president should be ourselves. Um, we want to tell the board hey, you guys need to empower a new group of, of Liberty's best assets uh, to choose that new president. Wall says it's time the school step away from politics and stick to its mission. In Lynchburg, Magdala Lusant, 10 News, working for you. And the board's next scheduled meeting is October 30th. We asked school leaders when they will meet to form the search committee, but they haven't gotten back to us yet.